Hi guys, it's Tom here from Passion Fit Coaching. So as you know, over the last few weeks, um, I've stepped back from the lead role within Passion Fit Coaching and that's been taken on by my amazing wife, Lauren. Um, there's a lot of reasons behind this. Um, one is that we wanted to change and diversify the option that we offered and that we both felt the way Lauren approaches things could provide that. Um, and we felt that diversity was important off the back of some of the experiences we've had as a part of the COVID-19 situation. Um, there were also some other areas um, and other, some other opportunities that I wanted to work on and explore with members of our community and our team. Um, and to allow me to have time to do that, I needed to take a, a slightly lesser role in the day-to-day -day running of the Passion Fit Coaching setup. And that doesn't mean that I've gone away. I am still around and I'm still helping Lauren with various group sessions and the running of, of Passion Fit Coaching. And I'm also working with my individual athletes. The reason for this video though is, is to put out there an idea that I've had, something, an idea that I've had in the past, and something that I hope will add value to, to somebody, to one particular individual. Um, who that individual is yet, I don't really know. And you'll have to forgive me because I am ad-libbing this video, I haven't really made any notes. I, I was going to put out a sort of announcement, a written announcement, or a scripted video, but I um, haven't really been able to put it together in the way I wanted to, so I thought I'd just get it out there now. I may follow this up with a little bit more information going forwards, but I wanted to sort of get the idea out there, um, just in case the right person picks up on this sooner um, and we can, we can help somebody or I can help somebody. So what is it I'm trying to do? What am I trying to say? Well, what I want to offer, I guess, fundamentally is a scholarship opportunity. Um, that's probably the best way I can explain it. I want to offer the opportunity to coach an athlete free of charge for a year. And the reason I want to do this is, um, as you, many of you will probably know that recently, very high profile athlete, uh, professional athlete, um, offered the opportunity uh, to be part of a race team. Um, and that uh, um, the cost of this was pretty significant um, and was asking um, that there was an opportunity for 10 people to be part of a race team and that, um, that to, 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 to be one of those 10 people you had to apply but also had to pay quite a considerable amount of money and I felt pretty disappointed to see this really. Um, I felt that maybe off the back of what we've experienced recently for a very high profile and probably relatively high earning pro um, that maybe it was an opportunity to put something back into the sport and back into the community for nothing. I'm not saying that this person doesn't do that in other ways, but it just didn't feel very well. It didn't feel like it landed very well. It certainly didn't land very well with me and some other people that I know. It was a little bit disappointing. Um, I appreciate the life of a pro athlete is very short, uh, but I haven't had the privilege of, of a life as a pro athlete um, myself. Um, I actually committed to many, many, many years of amateur high-level hockey, made no money, and now I've obviously come into triathlon very late. Um, Quite frankly, I'm, I'm too old and not fast enough to race as a pro. Um, so a lot of you might say oh, it's a bit of bitterness, but it, it isn't. You know, I feel that we have a responsibility, um, if we've been privileged, to try to do what we can to put back into the sport. And if we don't need to do something, then um, you know, we certainly we don't need to charge for something, then we shouldn't. Um, and um, as those of you that are members of our community will know, Lauren and I do an awful lot of work for free, um, and a lot of other coaches do that out there. So. Yeah, um, um, you know, I've been really privileged to be able to make sport the second part of my professional life, really. And um, I've been very privileged to have grown up around a lot of people that have been able to teach me. Um, I'm also privileged to be gifted enough uh, physiologically and mentally to be able to do the things that I do and help others as well at the same time. So, and I feel with that privilege comes a large amount of responsibility. Um, I sound like Spider-Man a bit now, don't I? Um, so, uh, yeah, as I said, I was really disappointed to see um, that happening from a professional athlete that perhaps had an opportunity to, to do something uh, for nothing. Um, and instead of doing that, took the opportunity to try to find a way to make what seems like a fairly extortionate amount of money out of, uh, out of age groupers um, that probably aren't going to uh, benefit to that extent, I guess value is a personal thing so maybe they will maybe in their eyes they will so maybe it's not a bad thing i don't know anyway 
that's not my point. So what I'm offering is I'm offering the opportunity to work with and coach one athlete for free for um, uh, the next year. Um, I'd like to offer it out to more people, but um, from a time perspective, because I'm working on some other mentoring um, and development ideas with other people that already exist within our community, um, uh, uh, one person is probably all I can realistically add adequate value to at the moment. And obviously, uh, Laura and I also have to live um, and to, to be able to put the amount of time that we do into things you know, uh, for nothing um, uh, on an ongoing and unlimited basis is just not feasible. Um, but anyway, I thought that being able to work with one person for free would be something that I could do and do well. Um, and I'd like to offer that opportunity out to the right person. And so what is this going to mean? Well, it means you'll get the same level of coaching input from me and the same level of involvement in the passion for the community that any of our fully coached athletes would get. Um, it would probably be a benefit if this person was relatively localised, someone who could come and spend time with the community face to face and with me face to face regularly, just because it would be a more engaging and more rewarding experience if you can. And I'm probably better as a coach the more face-to-face -face contact I have with athletes and I prefer that style of coaching myself and there's a lot to be gained within the passion fit community from engaging with other members so it would be better if, if, some, if, if it was somebody that was local or at least local enough to be able to get to us regularly um, but that isn't a prerequisite for this and um, it could be somebody that isn't so and I don't let that write you out rule you out of the, out of the equation um, I guess um, I don't know how to word this really. I guess maybe it might be somebody who's a little bit underprivileged. Um, so perhaps somebody who hasn't had the best run, particularly recently, maybe somebody who's had some privilege taken away from them as a result of COVID-19 or maybe in the past um, uh, and through no fault of their own. And, you know, they, they aren't in a position to be able to afford to pay uh, a coach to give them the level of input they might want or benefit from. And so hopefully we can help them. Um, it doesn't really matter, you know, what the background of this individual is or the gender of this individual is, for example. I mean, I know that we want to get more women into um, triathlon and sport in general, and we want to kind of close the gender gap and, and balance out that um, the, 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 the number of women versus men that are part of sport and get a lot out of sport. But so, yeah, I guess I'd be lying if I said it wouldn't be nice if it was a female athlete, but it doesn't, ha again, it doesn't have to be. It needs, needs to be the right person. Um, so, um, what else am I looking for? Um, ability isn't relevant, so how fast you are or you aren't, how experienced you are or you aren't, doesn't really matter to me. In fact, it doesn't matter to me at all. Um, and again, so people might misunderstand that, and I think last time perhaps people thought that maybe when we did something similar to this four years ago, perhaps people thought, oh, I need to be of a certain standard to, to, to be eligible to, to do this. That isn't the case. So, um, you know, please don't worry about that. Um, but your attitude is, crit is critical, so the attitude and level of motivation that you have is really, really important. Um, last time uh, we didn't get the right person apply in the end, um, and what I'm not looking for is I'm not looking for someone who's just looking for something for free. So I'm not looking for some, something for someone who wouldn't pay for it if they could, um, but just doesn't want to have to pay. I'm not looking for somebody who's just low on motivation or low on internal motivation and wants me to take responsibility for motivating. I'm not looking for that. Um, uh, I'm not looking for somebody that just wants free personal training. Um, you know, that, that's not what I'm after. What I'm looking for is somebody who's highly motivated, who if they could afford it, would absolutely pay for the services that we offer, but for whatever reason isn't in that position. Um, so you are gonna need to be a motivated individual. The role I want to play is helping give you direction and support that will ha allow you to unlock more of your own potential um, and to, to find a path, a journey that makes you more accomplished. Um, uh, and obviously that, level, that, that version of accomplishment may be something that we need to talk about as well. So what does accomplishment look like to you? Um, I was gonna put out an application form, but I decided not to, because the reality is that the right person will probably, um, know what I'm looking for, weirdly. Um, now, I appreciate there may be a confidence thing here. Some people might be right, I might think they're not, and then not approach me. It's this kind of paradox, isn't it? That um, the right person might be less likely to come forwards than the wrong person 
that's one of those weird things, but I'm hoping not. I'm hoping the way I'm talking about it today will help the person have the confidence to come forward. Um, the, 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 the right person will be obvious to me when they do come forward, which is why I've not done the application process. That right person will know what they need to say, they know what they need to have done, they'll know who they need to be, and they'll probably know how to communicate that to me as well. Um, uh, so, yeah, I guess that's it really. Um, I'm, I'm sure we'll put out some more communication about this, maybe something in written format. Um, Lauren might put out a video as well because she also may be involved in the process a little bit um, if, if her expertise are needed at some point. But yes, that's it, I guess, really. Um, so if you've got any questions, then um, you, know, you can pop them on, uh, on the thread, attach this video, or you can PM or DM me privately, um, either through Instagram or Facebook. Don't tweet me, this isn't going up on Twitter anyway, but I don't really use Twitter. Um, you can email me um, at tom at passionfit.co.uk. You can contact us through the website. Um, you can contact uh, us through directly through the Passion Fit Facebook page or my private Facebook page. So the Passion Fit coaching page might be easier. And Lauren might initially respond, but then I can pick it up from there. Um, yeah, that's it, I guess, really. So it would be really nice to find somebody that I can work with. Um, I already do different things with people that it's sort of for, like I said, for free as it is at the moment, but I want to offer sort of a full coaching service and experience to somebody for nothing um, for a year. Um, it might be less, it might be more, depending on that individual and their journey and you know what their goals are, but that's what I'd like to do to start off with. Um, and um, the other thing I'd like to do is I'd just like to reach out to other coaches and, and colleagues within um, the... Um, uh, the, the, the triathlon community that might be able to, um, uh, you know, do the same as I'm doing. You know, I'm, it's not about pressure. I don't expect people to do it. I know that, you know, it's not easy if you do things the right way to make a, a, a really considerable living out of, of, of doing this, especially if you're a small operator than like Laura and I are, where there's only the two of us. Um, but maybe other coaches out there um, are in a position to be able to do this. Maybe other professional athletes are in a position to offer a mentoring or coaching service to triathletes that may be in an underprivileged position, like I said, particularly off the back of the recent crisis. So yeah, I'm reaching out to you guys. Maybe you could do something the same. Maybe if I get more than one person, um, another coach might put their name in the hat privately to pick somebody up if I can't, I can't accommodate more than one person. Um, so there you go, so it's up to you. I hope that came across okay, I'm not really sure if it did. As I said, I've ad-libbed that, um, and, uh, and I know that I have a bit of a tendency to waffle. So hopefully I'll hear from some great people. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, maybe I can hopefully change, or I, hope I, I can change somebody's life for the better. And if you wanna know a bit more about Fashion Fit, um, a bit more candidly, by all means, get in touch with any of our team or community athletes. I'm sure they'd be happy to chat to you, and I have no problem with that at all. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not always the easiest person to get on with. I'm not always the easiest person to work with. I understand that, um, so knowing a little bit about that too might be of, of use. Okay, guys, so have a great day, and hopefully, like I said, we'll speak to some of you soon. Cheers.